Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mind Tutorial. Today we're going to be making simple doorknobs, sort of like one of these. Um, let's create a cylinder and then hold down J and then rotate that 90 degrees. Or you can go here and type in 90 degrees there. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and then give that eh, enough. As you can kind of see, it has maybe, maybe a tiny bit more. There we go. Now we want to make that little curved part right there. So let's select these faces. An easy way to do it is just to do it like that and then deselect the middle so that you have the face right there. And then let's um, extract down and then extract down, leaving that with a sizable part right there. And then we want to have that part, the inner part. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's extrude down and have this part, which will then have the little thinner inside part. So let's click there and then double click there while holding shift. And then we don't need to bevel it. Make that up a bit. And then if we see this in smooth, as you see, it has that nice thing that we have there. Now we gotta do the same for here. Let's extrude that as well. Push it up a bit. see now we gotta start doing this part right here so we can select that vertex right there go to um, edit mesh chamfer that take this face make it a bit bigger um, okay it's not on the back as well we don't want it on the back mm, I think I think this is good enough all right now we gotta spit up it so mm, that's good enough then we gotta make that little part right there with the little circle as well, like the rest of it. So it's, you can press 3, by the way, while in object mode to <clears throat> have everything smoothed. So, okay, then there's a little thing, and then, sorry for the f so much flipping back and forth, it's just, this is what you usually do <clears throat> when creating something. Okay, so we have that, we can't really see the inner part right there, but I guess we can just imagine. We want to make this one piece so that it connects easier too. Okay, and then we also want to take these vertexes and then go to Edit Mesh. And actually, we're not going to bevel them. We're just going to extrude up a bit. And if we view this while in <coughs> um, a smooth mode, you can see we have that little rim that we want around there. Alright, so we smooth that actually. Kind of smooths that too much. We can fix this by going to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, and then just giving it quite a bit right there. So it keeps this little thing. Is that what we'll do for, for this too? So that it generally keeps the same, same sort of shape. You can press Q by the way to stop um, edge looping, so it's smooth. Alright, pretty good. So now we're going to select that face right there, and then we're just going to extrude up a bit. Um, yeah, good enough. And then extrude. Okay, so let's see. Mm, I think there's a little thing right there. We'll, we'll, we'll put that in as well. So we want to have Okay, we'll smooth then the top here. Kind of push it a bit in. Have, have that little thing right there. And then we want to do that part right there. So we just extrude. Select all of that. Extrude that forward a tiny bit. And then with this right here, we want to have that. So we'll extrude in a bit. Just so much extruding, we've done 18 extrudes so far. Okay. And of that. So if we preview this again, you can see it's really taken shape now. And I guess our final part will be that little thing right there. So um, I don't think we can edge loop here. Or, okay, it's working. Sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. Ooh, okay. 
motion sickness watching this video. Um, and let's extrude it in just a tiny bit. Okay, so if we click on that in object mode and press 3 to smooth, we can see we have our doorknob. And if we look at other doorknobs, there isn't really much else. There is kind of that. That's usually locks for, like, bathrooms. Um, we're not going to do that, though. We're just going to have that. And then we can actually um, texture this as well. So, let's UV map this. Select all of that. Shell. Whoa. Okay. Take all of that. Polygons. Unfold. This is just really quick UV mapping, but it's good enough. So now that we have that, we're going to go to File, Export All, and call this some Door Knob. Alright, then we're going to go into Substance Painter here, and create a new file. Let's select our Door Knob, and make it a 2K, 2K file. Click OK, and now we have our Door Knob. Oh, I forgot one important thing though, it is not actually smooth. So we need to go to Mesh, and then Smooth. And now, press 1, as you can see, it's actually smooth. We're going to press 3 again. It smooths it maybe a tiny bit more, but it's fine. I, I think this affects the UV map a tiny bit, though. So we're actually just going to re-fold. Okay. Wait for it. And, okay, yeah, I guess it did affect it a little bit. So let's um, export all of that again. Store knob. Yep. And then go back into Substance Painter and new, select that doorknob FBX again, 2K file, click OK. Alright, so now that is our lovely little luscious doorknob. And we want to bake these textures, so let's bake them. Oh, bake Lambert. And you're going to get some errors, but that's alright. This program is Substance Painter 2, by the way. There is um, a video on my channel of how to get this for free. So we have that lovely doorknob, and now it kind of has that kind of coppery. So we're going to actually find a nice copper in substance here. Call this copper, maybe. And find a maybe more brushed copper. Instead of there, the copper it comes with is kind of, um, it's kind of like blocky, like bumpy, we kind of want a nice one like this. So we're going to download this, and open up the zip file once it's done, and extract these to my materials. Alright, just extract that, and then go back into Substance Painter, File, Import Textures, or Import Resources, Go to wherever you saved yours, and let's see. We want the you want the the one with the, the S right there. That is a one of those. All right, let's make it a base material, and just to current session import, and now we have our brushed copper that we can just drag onto there, and then bam, that is that. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe.